Aloha, Aya, Trix, and me were all from the same team from CSGO. So we were already playing together then. And then, I think that was Blacklist Tier 1. Then we transitioned into us three, uh, Aloka, Aya, and me. Uh, we played for OG Centuria. Then we were already Valorant. Then we stopped playing CSGO and when we stopped playing for Blacklist International. And then after we got into OG Centuria, um, we transitioned again into Galaxy Racer. Uh, yeah, so it was just us three again. And then we we got into the same team with Tricks, so it's like a mini reunion. <laughs> so yeah, and then the merge came between Team Nigma and then Galaxy Racer. So we're here now with together with our new teammates, which is Chloe and Hannah. It's just a huge deal because Nigma is such a big organization that we are representing um, for this part of the region. Mm -hmm. So for the pressures, I don't think that there is any pressure because of the org, but we do want to play well and represent the organization properly. I wouldn't say it was tough, but we had a lot of roster changes coming from Oasis Gaming and then transitioning to um, Galaxy Racer and then transitioning to Nigma Galaxy. With, the, with those uh, FSL open, we had roster changes, which was hard because roster changes usually means that you're trying to connect your chemistry with a new um, new player, which is hard, especially since we got Chloe. It was our first time playing with an international player. So it was kind of hard adjusting at first because the comms were different and our gameplays were different and we were still trying to adjust to one another. But um, with this coming FSL Elite, we hope that we can do our best and show our potential and our team practice by then. I don't think anyone should sleep on any team because everyone's like improving for every day that goes by, everyone's Everyone has the urge to be better. Um, I don't think any team should underestimate a team. So um, I'm looking forward to playing with all of the teams here in FSL Elite. I wouldn't say Celeste are an invisible team. As you can see from the recent Lenovo tournament that they've been beaten by my army. So I would like to see how Mad Army coming in would change Celeste's um, gameplay and I would like to hope to see us adjusting to it and be, become more prepared than we were 